Good morning, my dear student. Today we're going to take a new lesson, which is environmental balance. Environmental balance, the first, we're going to talk about the ecosystem. What the ecosystem? Ecosystem is any natural area, including living organisms or non-living organisms. Again, ecosystem is a natural area which concerning living organisms or non-living organisms. What is the living organism? Living organism or living things like plant, animal, fun, joy, algae. But non-living organisms or non-living things like water, soil, air. Again, ecosystem like we have living organisms and non-living organisms. Living organisms like plant, animal, some joy, algae. Non-living things like water, soil, air. That's the natural. Area of the ecosystem. What the component of the ecosystem? We have three components of the ecosystem. The component of ecosystem, again, living organism, non-living organism. Living organism like uh, plant, fungi, algae, animals, and non-living organisms like soil, air, and wood. This is the component of their ecosystem. Number two, environmental balance. Environmental balance means the balance. among component of the ecosystem. Environmental balance, the balance among the component. What is the component of the ecosystem? Component of the ecosystem, we say living organism and non-living organism. They have to be balanced between animal, fungi, algae and non-living organisms which is the water and uh, air and the soil so there is must be balance between living and non-living to happen the environmental balance without balance if there is no balance if there is no balance among this component which is the living organism non-living organism there will be no environmental balance there will be no environmental balance. If I ask you what happened if there is no balance, if there is no balance among component of ecosystem which is living and non-living organism, so there is no environmental balance or in other words, there is environmental imbalance. Environmental imbalance, okay? Ecosystem may be, may be small area, may be large area, and may be very large. Small area like piece of land, water, pond, 
large area like desert, forest, ocean, very large like the universe. Again, the ecosystem may be small, may be large, may be very large. Small like piece of land, water pond, large like desert, forest, ocean, very large like the universe. Give reason, if I want to ask you, give reason. The interaction among environmental component is a continuous process there is interaction action means there is reaction among the environment component we said what is the component of the environment which is the living and non-living organism is in continuous process because or to keep balance on there must be interaction between the living organism and non-living organism to happen or to keep the interaction or to keep the balance on in the environment if there is no interaction if there is no interaction so there is no balance and there is will be happen disturbance disturbance will take place in balance will take place and that change of nature will take place so if there is no interaction if there is no reaction among the environment component which is living and non-living organism there will happen the disturbance or imbalance environment or natural change okay. what is natural change if i want to know what's mean by natural change Natural change meaning changing of natural circumstance which lead to the disappearance of some living organism and appearance of other which that's led to imbalance that's all will lead to led to imbalance which take period of time the best indication for this disappearance of huge reptiles like dinosaurs as a result of the change of natural circumstance of the environment in ancient eras which led to their extension extension happened extension of uh, of dinosaurs which meaning extension meaning disappearance of the ex, uh, of the dinosaurs uh, uh, because the natural change which is happening in uh, natural circumstance uh, that's causing the disappearance of some living organisms like dinosaurs and appearing of the other living organisms. I want to know the another point which is the effect of predation on the environment balance. What the effect of predation? You know that the predator kill the prey, but the predator, when it's kill the prey or devour the prey, the predator chewed the weak and the sick member. 
and let the strong one in the brain population to preserve their extents and to produce add, uh, adding strong member to the population. Again, when the predator kills the prey, it chooses the weak one, the sick one, to leave the strong one to keep alive, to preserve their extents and to produce another uh, babies. So uh, they try to not choose the strong one to keep the balance of the environment. Okay, what happens if there is no predator? What happens if there is no predator? This lead that the prey would increase in the number to an extent that the available food resources become insufficient where their food requirement. So competition appears among their population. So if there is no, if there is no predator, the prey will be increased in their number. The prey will increase in the number. This means no food or no more food. So the competition happen or the competition take place. They try to save their life. So the environmental imbalance uh, will happen, our natural change will happen. So that's why the predator is very important in our life to keep the, uh, the number of the strong prey and to get rid of the weak and the sick one to save their food. Number two, the effect of saprophytes in the environment. Saprophytism is uh, very important in the ecosystem as it's uh, like bacteria, fungi, they get rid or decompose dead bodies and food remains. So they are working on decomposing the bodies of dead organisms so if there is no saprophytes, if there is no bacteria or fungi, okay, their uh, dead bodies and food remain will keep in the earth and they will be covered permanently with the body of dead organisms and many chemical elements like carbon, like sulfur, like nitrogen, would remain inside the body of dead organisms. As a result, new living organisms would never get any supplies or resources of these animals. So, if there is no bacteria or fungi, so no decomposed dead bodies or food remains, so the, the earth surface would be covered permanently with the body of dead organisms and many chemical elements like carbon, and sulfur and nitrogen would remain inside the bodies of dead organisms. As a result, new living organisms would never get any supplies or resources of this end. I hope uh, to enjoy this lesson. We finished our uh, first semester. I hope to see you next uh, season. See you and good luck. Bye-bye.